Hey everyone, welcome back to Jameson's Repair Shop. A little special treat today. Uh, I received the Marty report for this uh, 78 Bronco. Great, I'm pretty excited to go through this with you guys. So I'm gonna have to wear my glasses though because uh, you know, that's the age I'm at. Uh, so anyway, the data uh, door data plate information. So it's a uh, U15. So it's a U150 Bronco uh, four-wheel drive wagon. Um, that's the uh, first part of the uh, VIN number, uh, the identification number. And then the next uh, is an S. So it's a 400 uh, two-barrel engine, which was the optional engine on this. Um, it was built in Michigan. And of course, then you get the serial number and uh, that kind of thing. And then the next is the wheelbase. It's a 104 inch wheelbase. And now we get to the color code, which is a uh, Wimbledon white uh, Ford uh, number 1619-A. And then we go into uh, the weight of it. And so it's U151, which is a a Bronco Wagon 6400 GVW. And then we enter the trim package here, which is an FB1. So it's a blue cloth vinyl Ranger XLT bench seat. That's quite a mouthful there. White fiberglass top. So G is the next one is uh, automatic transmission. And then uh, it's uh, got a, a 16K so it's a 350 conventional rear axle. And then we have a uh, gross vehicle weight in pounds, 6,400, a year 1978. And of course it was ordered a uh, Midwestern Canadian DSO. So that would be a B4. So that's the data plate information. So let's now get into what this was equipped with. So it was equipped with the immersion block heater. Well, I don't have the original engine but the engine I did put in, which is a 400, and it does have the block heater, just a block heater. It came with skid plates, noise reduction exhaust system. Well, the exhaust system has been changed. It came with power steering, and yes, that's all there. Still had the hoses when I got it, but the, uh, I'll have to, actually, I'm waiting for a power steering pump right now. It came with the GT bar, which is still in it, which is nice. Uh, sports steering wheel, which is still in it, thankfully. That's nice. Uh, heavy duty tow package. So now the heavy duty tow package is an interesting one. And there are some uh, different opinions of what that was. Uh, one thing I believe that came with the tow package, it was, it was called a, uh, a trailer special and it would have had the trailer special emblem on the tailgate. Well, this tailgate's been changed, obviously been rusted out or damaged. So that's gone. And I'm not hundred percent sure if that emblem came on it, but I'm assuming it did because there's no other reference to a uh, trailer special in these reports that I could find. Now, anybody sees that, let me know. So in the, with the trailer special or the heavy duty tow package, it had, uh, a, a larger transmission oil pan. It had a uh, rear, rear, rear sway bar. Had the mirrors, the uh, large mirrors that went on the outside of the doors. I believe it had a larger uh, alternator, a 70 amp, I believe. I'm not, a, some of these things I'm not 100% sure of. It would have had the transmission oil cooler, which this one still has. And on this bumper, and it's a, it's a funny, it's a, it's not, it's like a sport bumper, but either someone drilled it out to, to put the wire plug in, or it came factory that way. I can't imagine anybody taking the time to drill out a chrome bumper to put a wiring plug in, trailer wiring plug in. Most people would just mount it underneath because it's the quickest and easiest thing to do. It also came with L7815 uh, all-terrain raised white letter tires. Right now it has a set of Sears tires that are quite old and checked, <laughs> rotten and checked. Uh, the vehicle came with air conditioning, which it's still pretty much all there except the pump, uh, the compressor rather. Well, yeah, needs work, but it's there. Uh, it came with an AM radio. Uh, it came with the rear seat. It's still here, thankfully. It's all still there. It came with tinted glass, which this truck still has tinted glass all the way around. 
sort of a green hue to it. It came with privacy glass um, on the topper, on the back. Uh, one piece has got a hole, broken, and the other side's good, but there's no, no sliders in it. The sliders would have been an option. Uh, dual electric horns, well, yeah, looking out there, they're still on it. <laughs> I'm assuming most of these did. Uh, tow hooks, it had tow hooks on it from the factory installed tow hooks. They're not on it, but I'm sure I could find a set. It had uh, 10 hole forged aluminum rims, which are still on it, thankfully. Uh, really grateful that they are still on this vehicle. Had increased fuel tank. Now, I don't know if that was part of the trailer heavy duty tow package or not, or it was just uh, one you could check the box on and have it put on, but it does have the increased fuel tank, so the 33 gallon fuel tank. It came with the uh, metric speedometer, which I showed in my last video on the cleanup video that it's that it does. Came with the Ranger XLT package, so that is the emblems and uh, I guess whatever, probably a few other the carpeting and stuff like that, whatever the Ranger XLT package actually consists of, but it had it on it. So that's the rundown of what was this was built with. All right, so now I'm gonna get into the interesting part. Well, interesting to me, what I found interesting is the uh, statistics for this vehicle and this is according to the marty report your vehicle is one of 4988 with this paint code so there was just under 5,000 of these broncos built with wimbledon white not many i'm going to skip over the one that's really interesting and i'll go through the other ones because i want to talk more about the the one that's interesting to me so I'm skipping over that one and we'll go into uh, 16,504 with these engine and transmission codes. 400 engine uh, with a, a C6 transmission. Very common for these cars, these uh, Broncos. Next one is seven, or 507 ordered from this DSO. Well, that was the Midwest Canadian one. So that tells you for 1978, there was 507 of these Broncos ordered for Western Canada. And now we're down to the last line item is the uh, GT bar. So 13,706 were built with the GT bar. So not a very uncommon, but I'm very grateful that it's still here. It needs new foam and stuff, it needs to be taken out and painted, but it's there. All right, let's skip back to the number that I was talking about that was low. So in 1978, and this is one of 73 1978 uh, Ford Broncos that were built with uh, the Wimbledon white paint code and the uh, trim codes, which the trim code for this is, the, of course, XLT Ranger, the Ranger XLT. It has a blue interior, but the, uh, the, what makes it an oddball or a low numbers is that it came with a blue XLT Ranger vinyl cloth front bench seat. So the, that's what makes this rare in combination with the uh, white cap. So a combination of those things like the XLT Ranger, Ranger XLT, the bench seat that is the blue XLT Ranger blends front seat with the cloth inserts and the white top becomes uh, only 73 ever built. So to me, that's a interesting number. Uh, I, I, I don't like saying rare, but it's definitely a low build for these vehicles. Well, that's it, everyone. That's the uh, numbers for the uh, 1978 uh, Ranger XLT Bronco. Uh, one of 73 built with the white white top, white color, white top, blue interior with the bench seat. Uh, who knew? I thought this was just be a run of the mill, run of the mill uh, Bronco. Anyway, uh, it's a long way from being pristine, that's for sure. So there's a lot of work to be done on it yet. Now, hopefully I can find the uh, bench seat. I am looking for one that matches this. I don't think that's going to happen. However, the seats out of a uh, super cab, yeah, Super Cab, I believe, uh, late 70s Super Cab. They're the same seat 
frame. So then I can I can buy uh, new upholstery for one of those, and I could restore this back to the way it was. But there's so much more to do on this right now. I'm not going to worry about it. And I kind of like the red, white, and blue patriotic look right now. It's kind of cool. Also, if you haven't uh, been following my channel, and by the way, if you haven't been following my channel, subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell, and you'll catch more inf more uh, videos on this. But what I, what I was going to say was I've ordered the rear quarter panels. So they could be a while getting here. So I need this vehicle mobile. So this is where I'm at right now. I'm waiting for a brake booster and I'm waiting for a power steering pump. Now the power steering pump, not a big deal, but the brake booster it is. And I've been doing some brake work on it, trying to get it all ready for when the brake booster comes. Anyway, uh, making this video longer than it needs to be. So everyone, uh, thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.